Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. On the last video, we installed Unity Hub. All right, so the application's been updated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the new features. We're gonna make a brand new project and we're gonna check out some assets from the asset store, see what's up. All right, so first things first, open up Unity Hub. As you can see, I have Unity Hub version 2.02. .02. Now let's go over the UI. Now on the projects tab, you can see that I have one project and I also have one on the cloud. All right, so this project I have right over here, Uptown 25, is showing me the location of where it's stored, C slash users slash Uptown slash documents inside of the Uptown 25 folder. And it's also currently using Unity version 2019.1.4 F1. Now let's say if uh, a new version came out and I already have it downloaded and I want to upgrade this version to the newest one. Right under Unity version, you're going to see a drop down menu. Click on that. It's going to show you the versions you have installed. You can also see them right over here under installs. You can see I have two versions. So I'm going to switch the 1.4 F1 to 1.5 F1. So all you have to do is just Check which one you want, click on it. It'll ask you, do you want to upgrade or downgrade? And just click confirm to go ahead and do it. All right, now let's say if you want to delete a project, like you were using it for testing, you don't have any views for it, or it's taking up space, you want to get rid of it. On the far right, there's going to be three little dots. Click that. Click on show in Explorer. It's going to navigate right to where it's being saved. Look for the name of the folder. Mine should be Uptown 25. Here it is. Now you can either copy it, save it somewhere else, delete it, whatever you like. All right, so I deleted it. So let me close out Unity Hub and reopen it. Make sure it's gone. So it's out of that list here. There we go. All right, cool. Now I have no projects. All right, now let's check out the Learn tab. This is a cool tab because here you can actually go through little... Uh, little demos, little quick playthroughs and learn how to fix a certain situation that's happening in your level design. They also have tutorial projects, which you can download and breeze through. There's also resources. We have a particle pack, interactive 360 sample project, which is good for VR. There's also a vehicle tools, which you can customize and make your own vehicle. Set up the suspensions, the shocks, the gravity. There's also uh, models. This is a tower defense template project. Um, with this, you could basically set up like little tower defenses around your level or your scene. There's also links where you can find out about Unity Home, the interface, essentials, learn to code, working in 2D, lighting and rendering, join the community. A lot of good stuff here. All right, so let's head on back on over to projects. Now, from what I'm noticing that's missing is the ability to add assets from the asset store into your project when you're first making them. So they took out that feature. Most likely it's because they don't want older files conflicting with their files. So they'd rather you do it through the store and make sure you have it up to date. So uh, let's make a brand new project. Now, if you head on over to new, you're going to notice that there's a drop down menu there also. You can select which version of Unity you want to use. I'm going to stay on the newest one. Now it's going to show me six different templates. And it's also going to have a spot for me to name my project and where it's going to be saved. So for the first two, 2D and 3D. Now these are empty projects with the basic rendering system. Now 3D with extras. If you click on this little icon on the upper right, it'll let you know what is inside of this uh, template. Now this one includes the new post-processing stack with built-in renderer. It has presets and extra content. Now extra content should be tables or, you know, whatever's in the scene. As soon as you open this one up, you're gonna basically see it right in the main window. It might be like a chair, a table, you know, just certain props to make it look more like a game. Um, there's also presets, which, which could be a reflection probe or like a lighting system 
to help make shadows and render things out. All right, so that's those three right there. Then uh, high definition RP. It's basically adding a shader graph, post processing, uh, presets, and example content, which is all the other standard. So when you go for these options, you're going for more of a realistic look. All right, so we're going to go on an empty project, 3D. I don't want any extras because this is all new stuff. I don't want it conflicting with my project, so I'm going to click on a basic 3D. I'm going to name it Uptown Tutorial, and I'm going to click on Create. Just give it about a minute. It's going to compile the files for you. Import the scripts and the files you need to get your project up and running. And there we have it. We made our first project. All right, so first things first. I'm not going to go over the UI just yet because we're going to do that in a separate video so we could get a little bit more detailed with it. So for now, we're going to go over to the asset store. It's going to be in the main window. You're going to see three tabs on the top. It's going to say scene because this is basically what's in your scene. And there's also asset store, which is going to load up the store. And there's also a game view, which is when you're actually playing your game. So we're going to click on asset store. Now, a quick tip. Once the asset store is open, look for pricing and click on that plus sign. And make sure free assets is checked. And it's going to show you all the free assets. Or either you could search for whatever you're looking for by name. So let's say if you want to rock, click on rock. It'll show you all the free rocks. Or even certain things you would want to pay for. All right, so back over to free. Now, the first one you see when you click on free is going to be standard assets. Now, this is going to be the first package we're going to install. This is the fun one. All right. So once you have this opened up, if you click on show more, it's going to give you a brief description of what this package uh, has. So we have a first person controller, third person controller, car controller, aircraft controller, particle example, rollerball controller. Uh, sample 2D platform, camera rigs, a bunch of good stuff, AI examples. All right, so we're going to import this into our project. So click on the red icon, import. There we go. It's downloaded. Now we're going to import it. Leave it as is. Click on import. going to add all the necessary files to our project. When you do it this way, it's going to keep it all up to date. If you're using an older version and it's not compatible, it will give you a notification just in case. We're almost there. Now let's say if you want to go back on over to the store. I should just wait for this to finish. Make sure it's complete. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so now we have standard assets installed. So let's click on scene. If you look down at the bottom, this is where your folders show up under project. Now you're going to notice that you have a new folder called standard assets. Double click on that. Now you're going to see a bunch of different folders that's going to hold different content. Now there's 2D cameras, characters, cross platform, editor, effects, environment, fonts, 
particle system, uh, physics, mechanics, maybe, uh, prototyping, utility, uh, utility, and vehicles. All right, let's check out vehicles. Said we we're going to make this fun. All right, so now in your current scene, on the upper left, this is what's in your scene, basically what's in your world. Right now we have a main camera, which is that one. That's why this little screen pops up. If you press F, it'll zoom right to it. And we also have a directional light. So those are the two items that we have in our scene. Now, we're going to want a floor because we're going to put a car in. So uh, you're going to see File, Edit, Assets, Game Object. Click on that. 3D Object. And go to Plane. All right, so it added a little plane for us. Now, right under File, Edit, Assets, you're going to see these little buttons. This one is the hand tool. So with the hand tool, you can basically move around the UI, move around the screen. So if you left click and hold it and move the mouse around, you move. If you right click, you'll pan up and down. We'll turn your head up and down. If you hold Alt, you can basically like turn your head and even the middle mouse button while holding Alt. You can pan left and right, up and down. Remember, if you want to zoom into the object, just select it and press F. All right, so now we have three items in our scene. So before we had the camera, directional light, now we added a plane. So I'm going to select it, hit the scale tool, scale this bad boy up so we can have some uh, driving room space over here. All right, that's cool. Now we're going to go into the vehicles folder. Now remember, this is inside of standard assets. So click on vehicles. Aircraft, car, let's go over to car. Now, once you're in this folder, there's going to be a file that's going to give you a brief explanation on how to add this. Start with a suitable scene. Uh, make sure that uh, place the car prefab empty inside the scene. It's basically going to give you a quick little info on how to do this. Now, the way to do this is we're going to look for the prefab. So there's going to be a folder called prefab. And you're going to have car and car waypoint so drop the car in there you go press f zoom in that's what the bad boy looks like all right so uh let's basically check it out let's hit the play button so right at the top in the center you're gonna see a play button click on that and there's the car all right let's move the camera up a little bit so let me click out of that select the camera as you can see, it's under the floor. I'm going to hit the Move tool up here. Move it up. Let's move it a little bit closer. There you go. All right, now let's hit Play again. So use the controller. All right, so there you have it, guys. That's the new Unity Hub, how to make a new project, and how to import any asset from the Asset Store. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.